Okay, so step one, before we start with any installation on the bearing, we need to make sure the shaft is clear of any burrs, rust, debris, etc. We also need to make sure that the shaft is the correct size or within tolerance. The reason we do this because is if the shaft is undersized, the bearing is likely to move. If it's oversized, we won't be able to close the inner ring properly without cracking it or possibly cracking it. So we've had a look at the shaft and that's nice and clear. We'll now measure it and we normally take a measurement across three different positions. Now we know this is a 75 millimeter shaft. So position one, 74.99. Seventy-four point nine nine and seventy-four point nine nine eight. So we're well within tolerance. Okay, so step two, we're going to install the inner ring. Before we do that, you need to make sure that the matching codes on every metallic component are married together. In other words, they're the same number and they're on the same side of each as each component. So to install them is quite simple. We simply wrap it around the shaft. And as close as you can. Next, we take the clamping ring and we set that perpendicular to the split line of the inner ring. And we take it around. Supplied nuts, uh, sorry, bolts, drop them in, use the supplied Allen key just to nip them up. No reason to tighten them up because we may have to uh, reposition the, uh, the inner race. We'll tighten them up later as we get through, further down. There we just repeat the same process with the second side. Once we've got both clamp rings in position, we'll then make sure it's in the center of the pedestal and we'll tighten up the bolts to the prescribed setting that you'll find in the instructions that come with every bearing. So the next step is to install the radial cage. Our radial cages, unlike anybody else's, are manufactured using 3D additive processes. Also, unlike anybody else's, our rollers actually lock the cage together rather than using clips. So every cage comes with a set of, of what you, one would describe as a biscuit, I suppose. And we simply lock the roller in position like that. So we just drop the radial cage into the raceway, rotate it round, and drop its marrying half in. Give it a slight turn back, take a roller, push it into position to lock it. And the same on the other side. Next, we're going to install the outer race into the cartridge. So you'll notice there's a grease groove in the center of the cartridge. We fill that grease groove with the same grease that we would use to lubricate the bearing. Once we've put the grease, groove, or the grease in the groove, we then take the outer race and simply slide it into position until both edges are flush with the outside edge of the cartridge. So now we've done the installation of the outer race, we need to install the thrust washers. Unlike our competitors, Bowman make one cartridge, one bearing for both fixed and free. We don't have two separate bearings. The difference is for a free unit, you just simply wouldn't install the thrust bearings. The thrust washer simply slides into the groove, pushed all the way around till it sits flush on both sides. So next we're going to put the cartridge onto the bearing. Put it over the top of the bearing and it literally rolls in into the, into the uh, pedestal. You roll it all the way around until it is flush with the pedestal. So once we've put the cartridge in position, we now need to put our thrust, uh, thrust bearings in. To do that is quite simple. Line it up against the, the clamping ring. Again, roll it round till it drops in position. You take the mating part, put that in, push it round and put the clip into it. Lock it in all the way back, clip in again, and we repeat the same process on the opposite side. The next job is to put the seals in. Again, we just put them over the shaft and simply roll them through in the cartridge 
until they popped out on the opposite side. You take the mating part, put it in, and it locks together. Once again, we do exactly the same on the opposite side. So next, what we do is we're going to put the cartridge lid on, or the opposite side of the cartridge, and it just drops into position over the top, like that. We then take the uh, bolts, put them in, again using the supplied Allen key, we nip it up, don't tighten it up too much, just nip it up, cross tightening, Next we take the pedestal cap, put it in position, Oops. again with the supplied allen key, we pull it down. Again, do not tighten it up too tight, just nip it. The reason we do that is because we're going to allow, or we're going to turn the shaft five or six times to allow the cartridge to find its own center within the pedestal. So we'd rotate the shaft five or six times. It's found its natural position. Then we talk these down, talk down the cap bolts for the cartridge. Again, cross tightening. And lastly, torque down the cap bolts for the pedestal. So once we've found the center, or once the cartridge has found its own center, we then tighten up the cap bolts using a torque wrench and tighten them to the correct settings which are found in the instructions with every bearing.